I wasn't sure if this place was just going to be all hyped up and all talk. It's absolutely not. This is incredible. Welcome to Grizzly and Bear, Overland on Calgary with Lee and Steffi. This week we take you on a special adventure on foot. As we disembark from the barge, arriving on the island, little did we know that this place will soon become one of our favourite in Australia. The island was originally named after a Scottish lady, Eliza Fraser, a survivor of a shipwreck on the island in 1836. Recently renamed Kagari, paradise in traditional language? We couldn't agree more ultimate destination for endless coastal driving and easy off-road, driving from tropical rainforest to the bush with eucalyptus, bank shoes and grass trees. I've been preparing for the hike. Not for the hydrate at this time. It's pretty basic. Breakfast, it will be a muesli bar and a coffee stick, morning snack. For lunch we're having the good old wrap with tuna. For dinner, noodles, mash, couscous and hot chocolate. Gorgeous sunrise and view from our window. Packing up the food. We're gonna head off today and we're gonna begin our attempt to hike the Fraser Island Great Walk, which is about a 90 kilometer hike. Um, usually done over th between three to five days, I think. Pretty excited to be back on the trails in this beautiful, beautiful location. I do like to use a bag liner. So rather than an actual rain cover around my backpack, like some people like to use, I like the inner sack and I don't bother with an outside rain cover. We've got sleeping bags, tent, uh, roll mats, all the good gear. Steffi's in the camper preparing. That's my water. The kitchen essentials. Three days worth of food, my clothes, sleeping bag, liner, sleeping mat, another liner, big puffy jacket, rain jacket, toiletry bag, toilet paper, tripod, backpack. Quarter to nine and we are ready to start the hike. Everything is packed up and we'll be back in three to four days. This is my hiking uniform, the same, same gear I wore for the, uh, the Bibbulmun track. Grizzly and Bear, see you soon. Only about 20 minutes ago, it was pretty cold in the shade, but the sun is shining. 80 kilometers an hour is the speed limit. Yeah, 19 kilometers of hard sand beach walking, which is very good, to get to Happy Valley, which is where we will start our great walk from. They're busy on this beach. Lunch break on day number one. We've done 19 k's and we are at the official start of the walk. We're probably gonna stop at the first camp, which is another 6 k's. Dingo fence. Two kilometers ago, we were walking on those white sanded east coast beaches. Now we are in the jungle and it is gorgeous. Super gorgeous. Friday afternoon and the island is starting to get really busy with a lot of 4x4s four so that's why we chose to do the hike Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're going to a lot of places that you can't access with a vehicle. Fraser Island being so famous for an off-road sort of destination. Pretty cool to be doing it um, with our own two legs. Just arrived to tonight's campsite of Lake Garawongera. And this sand here is what makes Fraser Island so unique. World heritage and the largest sand island in the world. Nice to meet you. Emily. Yeah, nice to meet you, Emily. <laughs> we just bumped into you two guys and this is our first trip where we've done all our dehydrated meals and they're inspired by your video. Pretty much got like 
all of it. Oh, <laughs> we've got yeah. the stir fry, we've got the... Yeah, so uh, six days worth of food. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Did you oh, make those pack so balls? Yeah. Well, yes, she did, did all of it. I just get to we eat did. it. Like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the pine yeah. nuts, the oil. Yeah, we've got it all. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy. Honestly, like, what the chances? Those people, they recognized us and they said, oh, like, I actually used your video to prep all my meals for their hike. If their dinner is not good, I'd better the hike. <laughs> <laughs> In the dingo box. That's the dingo box. So in North America, you guys have bear boxes. Here on Fraser Island, we have a dingo box. <laughs> yes, I'm not brave enough to go swimming. It's nice on the feet anyway. <laughs> you ready for dinner? I'm ready, are you ready? Anything. Okay. So here we have some Dehydrated peas, instant mash. It's a mix of potato and sweet potato, bacon bites. In this little container, I put olive oil. My good help. <laughs> there you go. My God, that looks good. Absolutely bloody delicious. I miss camping food. The uh, olive oil at the end there was just uh, just perfect. And the little bacon uh, bits are nice and crunchy. Mm -hmm. 6am on day two, and we are ready to start the hike for the day. But first we are treating some water with a good old Steri pen. Been with us a long time, that Steri pen, hasn't it? Yeah. Every time we go on a hike, we forget new batteries. <laughs> So this SteriPen is an ultraviolet light water steriliser. You can see it zapping the water. The only thing about this SteriPen, it requires batteries. And of course, it's a stupidly odd battery. Why they can't make it just USB rechargeable. Although probably they do now. This is a very old model, the original version. Steffi's got her brand new shoes. She's only worn them a few times actually, and now they are officially christened. <laughs> ah, I miss this. This is just like deja vu. Deja vu of the Bibberman. We spent so many kilometers on the Bibberman track going through water. I don't know, maybe 100 kilometers we did in the water. That's what makes the adventure even more awesome. And have a look at it. It's just so beautiful. Misty. Whoa. This one is a python, so he's not venomous. These guys get so much bigger than this. And yeah, he's not scared of us, so we'll just make our way around him nice and easy. And uh, hopefully he lets us go past. <laughs> Don't worry, just remember, non-venomous. Oh, alright. Yeah, he's all good. <laughs> Some people pick them up, but I'm not going to touch him because we shouldn't touch the wildlife. It literally has not moved a millimetre. Sort of guessing that there's maybe something that he's digesting around about there. <laughs> Frenchie. Perfect trees, absolutely beautiful. Well, we've just come across another python. I reckon he's just a little bit bigger than the other one. Obviously a hiker before us today has put a big S on the ground here and I think there's one on the other side of this guy down there. Welcome to the beautiful Lake Wabi. This sand here is yellow. All of the other sand that we've seen on Fraser Island, which reminding you again, is the largest sand island in the world, is pure white, like really white. You can even see the difference between the white sand stopping there and then turning to yellow. 5 a.m. on day number three. Steffi's got blisters. Our SteriPen has flat batteries, so we are again sterilizing our water in the old school method, boiling it. 
6 a.m. We've got 11 kilometers to Lake Mackenzie. We can see Lake Mackenzie through the trees there, and the sand is so white. All right, let's get down there. Let's get you in that water. Oh, this is so beautiful. Wow. Walking along the shore of the magnificent Lake Mackenzie. Instead of backtracking, we're gonna cross through the lake. So we took the shoes off and we're gonna go for it. Frenchie! What? This was your idea. <laughs> we can't. We can't make it. Well, we could, but I think it's going to be late. It's Let's put deep. the bag on top of your head. What was I thinking? We had to return the way we came. Then we decided to go for a swim. It is bloody freezing. But the water, not as cold, I don't think. But it's like Mackenzie, so it has to be done. But I've never before seen anyone swimming whilst wearing their beanie. Is it nice? Must be refreshing. When we packed our bag, we packed a little towel because we thought we might go for a swim. Outside temperature is probably maybe 12 or 13 degrees at the moment, but the water, I don't know, it seemed warmer than that. It was actually very, very nice. And the sand, we gave each other a scrub because we heard about the exfoliating... Properties. Properties, that's the word. It's not a towel, it's more like a tea towel. Eating food is not allowed around the lake, but we did enjoy a warm cup of coffee. This was one of the highlights of the hike. little change of plan here. It's going to change the overall distance of our great walk by seven kilometers less. <laughs> We've seen another option, a variation of this route that's going to take us straight back to Yurong and we get to follow this creek for six kilometers. There's plenty of lakes and stuff on Fraser Island, but the actual creeks like this that are flowing above the ground are pretty rare. So we're going to take this opportunity Nothing. We are so happy right now that we chose to take this uh, variation on the Great Walk. So far, our favorite section. It's breathtaking. Come to Fraser, if only to check out this place. Just getting some of this big fella's energy. It looks like he's got plenty. Cory Pine, Agathis Robusta. My personal favorite tree of Fraser Island. But look at the size of that tree. It is phenomenal. It's a perfect tree, Steffi just said before. Well, we're getting there now. We're on the last two kilometers before we will arrive to Yurong. And then I think maybe one to two kilometers up the beach to return to Grizzly and Bear. The final gate, Dingle Gate. It was amazing. Well, it's always nice to see uh, Grizzly and Bear waiting after we've been away on these multi-day adventures. I'm not sure exactly, we'll have to work it out, but maybe 80, 82 kilometres, I'm guessing, we've walked in three days. Pretty leisurely pace, but very much enjoyable. Highly recommend the great walks on Fraser Island, up there with some of the best we've ever done in our life. And there's, that's no word of a lie, it was very special.